Christy, I've talked to Mark and I've had the privilege of watching you and Mark together since the day you were married. And as best as I can tell, you're a pretty good example of a happily married Very woman. Very happily married woman, but yeah. very thankful yeah. too. So how much of this really depends on Mark? Let me be honest. Um, nothing. No, 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 no. I asked you to be honest with me. No, I'm being very honest. I mean, Mark, oh my goodness, he gives me what women dream of, but mm. I cannot have my identity dependent upon Mark. Well then, so how much of this depends on you? Honestly, everything. So you're saying that it's not about a husband bringing the wife happiness? No, no. And the key is there that Mark mm. and I can share happiness and actually he can bring me, but he can't make me happy. And I can't look to that. Okay. We're going to try to get this through to you because because there's three types of relationships, right? And, and marriages can go these ways and, and only one really works well, okay? So, so we're going to demonstrate. First of all, there's what we call the independent relationship where two people say, okay, I don't need you. And I really don't need you. Well, no, I don't need you, whatever. No, but I, the I don't need you more. The strong constitutions basically, you know, win out and the relationship is not. Then there's what we call the dependent relationship where one is a little more stronger and the other one is a little more. And it's usually clingy. Clingy, dependent, oh. and saying, oh, for kind of love. And one finally brings the other person down or they want to pull away, right? Yes. And, and, and that's not healthy either because it's all about one person carrying the other. But the best relationship is what we call the interdependent relationship, where, of course, there's people who have strong constitutions, but they come together and they become selfless. They say, there's ropes of love between us that say, this is more important, and I want to make a strong relationship. That is interdependent. But they don't forsake who they are. Exactly. And you know what? That last relationship really becomes a strong, strong marriage. Ladies, if you can look mm -hmm. into the eyes of your man and you're able to say, babe, I want to give you freely all the woman that I am. Mm. And I cannot wait for you to give yeah. me all the man that you are. Wow. That then would, they've caught on. That'd make the difference because the guys would get on their horse and say, let me be your hero. Mm. You'll never regret putting your marriage and family first. And your man. <laughs> you take care and God bless.